All right, so I've been asked to do a, uh, a few, or a question on um, seventh grade, CC2, uh, specifically number 141. So looking at number 141, it's a problem. It's, and this is a checkpoint question, so definitely need to know each of these shapes and how to find their area and how to find their perimeter. Okay, so we'll quickly go through these. First shape, A, what do we call that? A is a rectangle, so got to know the vocab as well. To find the perimeter of a rectangle, you just add all the sides, right? So finding the perimeter of a rectangle, add all the sides. I know that's 12, so opposite side would be 12. I know that's 8, so opposite side would be 8. We know that on a rectangle, so adding all the sides would be just 8 plus 12 plus 8 plus 12. And my perimeter in this case is going to be 40. So that's the perimeter. And you put your units, and in this case, units is centimeters. So the perimeter is 40 centimeters. How to find the area? Area of a rectangle is length times width, right? Length times width to find area. So my length and my width for this problem, my length is 12, my width is 8. So 8 times 12. 8 times 12 is 96. And when you um, talk about the units for area, so our units are centimeters, but when you deal with units in area, you always use squared units. So centimeters squared. Okay. So there's my perimeter. There's my area for A. B. B is a triangle. Right, so B is a triangle. In order to do the area or the perimeter on a triangle, again, perimeter is same thing. Add all the sides. Right, add all the sides. I know my side lengths; they're they're they are actually listed there for me. So that's five plus nine point zero five plus eleven. All of that adds up to B. Uh, let's see, that's sixteen. So twenty five point zero five, and again, units. Our inches so we just put the inches the linear units and area area of a triangle area of a triangle is the base times the height all divided by two or in some some people write it shorthand to say one half base times height either way if you look at base times height divided by two it's the same thing as saying one half base times height however you want to look at it. So in this case, my area uh, for this problem, well, my, my base, my base and my height. How do you know which one's the base, which one's the height? The base and the height have to be connected with a 90 degree angle, perpendicular, right? 90 degrees is called perpendicular. So we have a perpendicular lines, the height and the base. So I would say 11 times four, all divided by two right because there's the four is the height the base is the 11 so 11 times 4 divided by 2 so that gives me one that gives me 44 over 2 which is 22 so my area is 22 and again squared oops 44 divided by 2 is 22 area is squared units so inches squared we write for the area for this problem okay so there's my area all right let's move on to looking at the parallelogram all right so in this case and they they told us this is a parallelogram right so i'm not going to rewrite it it's right there that's a parallelogram parallelograms to find the perimeter of a parallelogram same thing add all the sides so 10 plus 16 plus 10 plus 16 all the side lengths we add them all up so perimeter for this problem is going to be uh Two plus 10 plus 20 is 52. So 52 centimeters squared. Okay. Area. To find the area of a parallelogram, it is base times height. Area of a parallelogram is base times height. Again, base and height, just like we talked about with a triangle, has to be connected by a 90 degree angle. And there it is, 90 degrees right there. So my base would be the 16, 
and it's connected to the height that is the little dash line inside that has that little 90 degree symbol. So it's 16 times nine. So area is 144. And again, units squared. So we put centimeter squared because the units are centimeters. Last one tells me what it is. It says it right there. It's a trapezoid. Perimeter of a trapezoid, just like all of them, add all the sides, right? Add all the sides. So if I add all the sides, I'm looking at 21 plus 25 plus, oh, my eyes, I don't know if I can read that. 24, is that 24? Plus 44.67. Okay, so if I add all of those up, uh, let's see, so that's, 60, 6, 70, 114 point 67. And it's just meters. So we just put an M for meters. And then area. Now, area of a trapezoid is a little trickier. Area of a trapezoid, okay, is one half times the height, okay, one half times the height times the sum of the bases. So it's base one plus base two. And I put little subscripts to show that it's base one and base two. So it's the, and in short form, you'll see it this way. A is equal to one half times H times the sum of B1 plus B2, okay? And how do you know the bases? Remember base is the same thing. When you have the height and the base, they have to be perpendicular to each other. So look at, here's my height. And who's it perpendicular to? It's perpendicular to its top line and the bottom line. So those are both the bases. So either one could be base one, base two, does not matter because you're adding them. So in this case, it's going to be one half times the height, which is 20, times 25 plus 44.67. All right. So that is the finding the area of the trapezoid. So I'm going to let you finish that off, come up with your math. Well, actually, I'll, I'll just figure it out. So how one half times 20 is 10 and, and multiplied by those add up to be 69.67. And I multiply that by 10, I'm gonna get 696.7. Oops, so there's my area. And it's, in this case, meters squared, squared units. Okay, there's the area. And there's the perimeter up here. All right, there you go.